Hey everyone, yeah. it's me Barb, and I'm here today to show you my favorite path for hunting Sarnak and Palea because it is good money, and we all need money in Palea because we are constantly broke, or at least that's what it feels like. So, without further ado, here's my money. That's from today's hunting, and I haven't got to play much because the servers have gone down a few times, which is understandable since we are in the open beta. And you'll see here in Kalima, this is where my marker is. Now what I like to do is I bring 200 arrows with me. I've only got 61 at the moment, but that's okay. I come down this way and I will get this little circle here. I go down further, I go across, I come up this way, and then I normally will detour in here, take this loop, go back over, go up, and then I come to this area. They have normally not respawned by that point, so I will log out, log back in, and do it again. Now, if you get a instance, a server instance, where all of the Sarnak are dead because someone else is hunting, just re-log and go back in. It's gonna make you more money than if you try to hunt in an area where they are all hunted down. So, let's make a little bit of a run. And a little tip, if you're shooting from a distance, shoot a tiny bit above them. And the further the distance, the higher above their heads you need to shoot. Now, along this area, there is also copper. Um, I do tend to like to grab the copper, and you'll see they go off a bit to each side. I definitely detour, and I'll grab any gatherables while I'm at it, because it only adds to the money. But if you want to purely just focus down the hunting, you will make great money. Now these darker colored ones, they do take multiple hits. I don't chase them while they're running, because once they're running, they're quite annoying. I let them kind of chill out, <laughs> and uh, then I go after them. So if someone else is coming through and scaring all of them, it's definitely worth it to take a second and let them calm down or maybe go to a different part of the loop. And I do tend to pretty much always grab the copper unless I see someone out here and they are competing for the Sarnak. My apologies. There we go. Another thing that can be useful when you're doing this path is if you are up on this upper area, you can kind of see the Sarnak down in the lower area and you can snipe them. And it also works to go from a distance this way as well. Now this one, if you go for a headshot, oh, I missed it. I missed it again. That went right through. I don't know why that missed. Let's, um, we'll give that a try again in a second if we see him. But that normally does not miss. That was kind of weird. So we are still in that first little loop on the path. So if we go up here, you can see first little loop. We're kind of in the middle. I think we're going to move on from that one deer because it seems like for some reason I'm just not hitting him. But if you aim at the head, and if they're further away, a little bit over the head, that tends to be a pretty safe bet. And if you can see a whole lot of them in range, and you can get them from above, from height, take advantage of that, because oftentimes other players will be making the same route. And I tend to like to shoot them down as fast as I can, because you never know when you're going to run into your route, having already been cleared. <laughs> so it's best to get what you can while you can, because a lot of people are playing right now, and Sarnak are a really popular hunt. But if you do this and you're persistent with it, just bring 200 arrows and then go sell, you can make some great money. Now here's the bottom of the loop. And as we go through, um, sometimes there'll be some Sarnak up here, but you can also kind of go up this little hill and get a good peek of what's over here and maybe snipe some of these guys in case there's other people out. It'll save you some effort of other people getting your Sarnak. So a little bit higher, I should get it. There we go. And we can see over here, if you glide down, you can get a preview of what's over here. So you can be prepared not to scare them or maybe snipe some from the bridge. And if you go through and do this persistently, you will have no problem with money. Now there are other great ways to get money as well. I'm not saying this is the best, but it is pretty darn good. If I do this for an hour, I do tend to get more money than I get from fishing or gathering. It could just be I'm not as good at those things. Um, but if you do go over into Bahari, 
you can go all the way to the east off the coast oh why am i shooting that bag <laughs> you can go all the way to the east off the coast and you can go fishing and there's also great gathering there and there's not a ton of competition over there as well so it tends to be a nice area so if for some reason you're not having any luck with the sarnak or let's say you have really bad aim or you keep going into an area where um, sarnak are over farmed you can definitely take a break and head over to bahari bay and maybe spice it up and get some fish and get some gatherables so in no time at all you'll be sitting pretty and you will have all the money that you could possibly need so I know this is a short video, but I did just want to give you a quick little view of this path because for me, it is the most efficient path for Sarnak. Again, start right up here, go down, hit this loop, come on down here, go across, go over. And I did not take this detour this time. You can cut this off, it's kind of optional, but this detour is nice because there's also a lot of copper in here. And then come back up here, get up here. And if they haven't reset yet, log out, log back in, and repeat and then you will be uh richer than scrooge sorry a lot of my subscribers are disney dreamlight valley <laughs> until next time and if you guys haven't liked and subscribed i'm going to be making a lot of paleo videos and streams and if you turn on the notifications youtube will normally let you know when i go live and i love to have you all there so i hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks again bye for now